Hi, I'm Raymond. This is part 6 of web services video series. In this session we will discuss creating proxy classes in a web service. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are benefits of proxy class, how client application can communicate with web service, creation of proxy class. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 3, part 4 and part 5 of this web services video series, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In that I have discussed error handling in web service, bindings in web service, WSDL, web service description language in web service. Benefits of proxy class. Proxy classes will define the endpoint of the web service. So proxy classes will make the endpoint to connect with the web service. Proxy classes are the reference for communicating with the web service which contains methods, classes, properties, etc. Proxy classes will be generated or created automatically while consuming the web service in client application. So by this statement we can clearly understand that do we need to create any proxy classes? Answer is no. We do not want to create proxy classes. It will be it will be generated automatically while we consume web service. Let's we look in action how these proxy classes will be generated while consuming web service. This web service project has been created in the previous sessions. If you haven't watched, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In that session we have created these methods hello world method calculator method and division method this hello world method takes two input parameters first name and the last name calculator which takes three input parameters like integer first value integer second value and a string operation for division int a and int b have the inputs in the previous sessions i have already consumed this web service in the client application let's we look in action how proxy classes has been created while consuming this web service this is the client application we have created in the previous sessions i have created this project in visual studio 2012 so i cannot able to directly view the service references he from here so what we have to do means i have created this click event in that I have already called the service reference dot sample web service soap client. This is a service call. Right click on this service call. Click on go to definitions. It will take to the references dot cs path. So what does this references dot cs file contains? Let's we understand clearly. So web service response is one of the class to connect to the web service and uh, these are the proxy classes it will create to connect it to the method hello world is the method calculator method and division method we have created in the web service it creates uh, some proxy classes to connect to the hello world method this is a hello world method which takes string has the first name and string has the last name and uh, calculator method for that it will take three input parameters like uh, integer first value integer second value string operation and uh, for division it takes two input parameters like int a and int b so everything is included in this proxy classes for connecting to the web service endpoint let's we create one more method in the web service and uh, consume in the client application open web service application let's create public string 
addition which takes two input parameters int a comma int b return convert that to string a plus b method should be decorated with web method attribute let's build the solution and open client application now let's we try to call addition method from the web service remove this division client dot addition look at this we didn't get addition in the intelligence this is because we didn't updated the service reference because there is no proxy classes for calling that addition method from the web service let's we update service reference right click on the service reference one click on update service reference that will download service reference and update to the service reference one once it updates it automatically generates this proxy classes for connecting addition method now try to call addition method client dot addition which takes int a and int b has the input parameters this client dot addition which returns string has the response let's make it has string and remove this section let's build the solution and try to run the application enter first value enter second value and click on calculate button so it displays the result as expected proxy classes acts as a mediator for connecting with the web service and the client application so here when the user request the web service from the client application so proxy classes will make the request to the web service so proxy classes will acts as a mediator for connecting client application to web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you